Eustace Conway told me that the best wedding gift anyone could ever receive is a sawmill. Would you agree? Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer and I have got the sawmiller's helper here. <laughs> yep, Miss Stony Ridge. And hey. <laughs> we're gonna be running the LT40 wood miser today. We have a crusty log. It's gonna be a fun little video. It is a crusty old, I'll let you guess. And at the end of the video, we'll tell you what it is. I don't know, but I think this is gonna come out absolutely beautiful. The log is right over here. We'll take it, we'll show you the whole operation. We'll toss this log on here and see what kind of lumber we get. And this is gonna be used for handles, for like knife handles, hatchet handles, stuff like that. So we're gonna be milling a very, very special log today. A crusty, nasty one. I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. Afraid of life, times like this. If you can mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. You're gonna have to take that glove off to get those earplugs in. <laughs> you think so? You think I, I need those? I think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's talk about the mill that we have right here. This is the Wood Miser LT40 Extra Wide. It'll take up to a 36 inch log. Today, what we're gonna be using, this is the D Barker. This is an electric motor, runs a carbide tip blade, and takes the bark off before the saw blade hits it. That saves your saw blade just a little bit. You'll see this thing flashing probably in the video. This arm rotates by power. There's a motor up here that does that. This is called the log deck. That's the log loader. This is the log turner. That is a foot that holds the log against the dogs, the back dogs. We look over here, we got all our hydraulic controls right here. This one is for the raising of the log, rear front roller. Then we've got the log turner. We can raise that foot and move that foot back and forth side to side. This is a portable sawmill. You could take anywhere you want to take as long as you can get it in and out of there. This is how we started. Before we started, we got a little something to do. We've got to get the lube miser all filled up. So this holds lubricant. It's soapy water basically. And that soapy water goes through a system into a pump in there and then sprays out onto the sawmill blade thus lubricating the sawmill blade and keeping it from getting too hot. This slides back and forth depending on the width of the log and you'll see that in just a little bit also. This tells me I'm ready. So let's go ahead and fire this critter up. All right, that's a Kohler Command 38 horsepower fuel injected engine. Just change the oil on this critter and she's looking good. She's about ready to work. Now, let's talk about the log. Honey, come on over here. Let's. Tell them about this log, what we got. Which one, this one here? Oh, well, that's not the one we're milling, is it? Oh, we're doing this one here. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> so don't spoil it, don't tell I'm them what it is. I'm not allowed to say what it is. But look at it, tell me what, what you see. Squat down here. Uh-huh. What do you see? Um, is this thing gonna make any pretty lumber? That's oh, the... I sure hope so. I'm excited to see what it's gonna do. It's got some nice knots in it, so I think it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, you yeah. sure? Uh-huh, I have I full know. faith. It looks like it might be a little rotten to me. Well. We got some fungus among fungus. us. Fungus <laughs> yeah. Thank you, honey. So this has been sitting here for about uh, seven months now, something like that. As you can see, this is a little hint as to what we've got. Something pretty black in there, huh? I don't know, what do you think, witch's hair? It's a little ah! funky. <laughs> it's a little funky. <laughs> <laughs> we always have fun on the farm. All right, we're gonna roll this thing over. The first challenge is to get that log over that log. We might have to take this one <laughs> over that one, but we'll see. So we've got our log ox, three in one forestry, multi tools, our cant hooks. You got your cant hook, I got, I got mine. mine. Cant hook, I'm ready. You get the big end, you get the small end. Okay. Here's how we do it. No, nope. no, nope. watch Wrong me. Way. Hold it like this. Okay. You're going right there. Get a better bite down low. There you go. Now okay. you're getting it. Now ah, look, ha, ha. there you go. Okay. Now we're gonna try and roll it up over this log. I don't know if that'll work or not. Get another bite. Okay, hold on. All right, got it. You don't, we got to get it together. Hang yep. on here. All right, one, okay. two, three. Up and over. I'm on, I'm taking oh. my end. Is that not? Get another bite. Okay. You got it. Got it. Step back, step back, step Woo. back. Got to have farm boots on, girl. <laughs> okay, hang on. Okay. I can get it from here. Sometimes having too many players too many in the hounds. ball game. Yeah. 
can make it more dangerous. And we always want to try and have steel toe boots when we're down here running the mill. Possibly can. Grab your cant hook, bring it over okay. here. Got it. Hook it on here, right here in the middle. Daniel, you're excited about this, huh? Alright. There we go. Grab that uh, oh, yeah. mud knife right there. All righty. What is this called, honey? A uh, scraper? Yep, scraper. It's a drywall knife. Drywall knife. Yep, there drywall putty knife, pretty mm -hmm. much. So, 
we're gonna get a show. Guys, in case you don't know, this is butternut walnut. This is the best. This is the money shot right here. So instead of milling out uh, boards for building knife handles and stuff like that, I went on and I milled one board, one or two boards for knife handles, and I'm building a custom knife pretty soon. But this was too pretty to waste. Mm -hmm. So we did two inch live edge. Now, let's take a look. This is what we're looking for. This is what it would look like once it's finished. Look at that, oh, look wow. at that. That is something beautiful right there. I love it. Yeah, awesome. I mean, we've got more character up here, but I think as we unload this one, so let's go right. ahead and offload this one. It's gonna be heavy now. This okay. thing weighs about 140 pounds. All right. Oh God, look at this. This is the better shot. Guys, oh, it's better and better. This is why I love having a sawmill, man. <laughs> a good friend of mine named Eustace Conway told me that the best wedding gift anyone could ever receive is a sawmill. Would you agree? Uh, absolutely. She didn't um, like it at first. She's like, we're spending all this money on this thing, but look at no, this. No, I couldn't imagine this, having it. This is gonna be a bar top or a tabletop in our new barn dominium home. Check it out. I wish I didn't have this ice to contend with. <laughs> so these knuckles, this is oh, where, wow. look at that, that tiger stripe in there. The knuckle, the split is where all the show is. Man, that is gorgeous right there, isn't it? A little knot here, a little knot there. Now, let's come on down here on this end. Let's scrape all this off. It's like Christmas every time you flip the log over. So, we don't have much water left. Look at that. That's absolutely gorgeous too. This will have to dry. It's two inches thick, so the rule of thumb is one inch per year. Now, we're gonna flip this one. Okay. Oop, there we go. And let's see this side. It's even more pretty than that side. Man. Johnny, this came from Johnny's place. Johnny, thank you for this piece of lumber. We loaded it up last summer, last August, I believe. I'll post a link to that video. This is in my friend Johnny's yard. This is even more gorgeous than the last one. The rumor is that you can leave bark on a live edge piece of lumber. The reality is that causes rot and stain and Mess. will ruin your log. Up we go, nice and gentle. Okay. Set it right up on top of that one. <laughs> Guys, what a great day. This will probably be used for knife handles and all sorts of stuff. Uh, man, stay tuned to the channel. A lot more sawmill content coming on Sawmill Sundays, a lot more lumber content, and a lot more uh, firewood content. So as we start to burn firewood, primarily here on the farm. This is absolutely gorgeous. Butternut walnut, you just don't find something this pretty every day. Probably will never have the opportunity to mill something like this again. Guys, thanks a lot for joining us here on the Stony Ridge Farm. We'll see you next time on Sawmill Sundays. Grab that in, honey. All right. Here we go. Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! <laughs> Brought to you in part. Brought to you in part by Chicken Filet. <laughs> Boy, this thing would be a lot cheaper if they didn't put that much ice in it, wouldn't it? Water's <laughs> free, ice costs money. Get out of here. Okay, honey, you know how to use a can hook? Isn't that what uh, most people teach their daughters not to do? <laughs> you can't hook. You can't hook. <laughs>